This is Julie Salant. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. I am your business strategist for entrepreneurs and leaders, and this video is for Master Life Path Numbers 22. Um, I wanted to make it especially for you guys because we are outlining the Brave Academy and giving you some information and tools that will help you move forward, especially around how you want to plan for the next six months and be successful. So if this is your first time here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for being here. If you're coming back, I really appreciate you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And there are three ways you can work with me through the Brave Academy and the application information will be down below in the description box, as well as the mastermind that we're opening and working one-on-one -on -one as well. So without further ado, I want to talk to you today about stories. So for you guys that are master life path numbers 22, you know, you are the master builders and master teachers, and you are great visionaries. You have strong foundations. You are the movers and the shakers. I mean, just being a master builder and a master teacher means that you take all of the information that you've learned and then give that out into the world. It's amazing what you do. On the flip side of that, the negative side, you know, you can be controlling and manipulative and other people get tired of you trying to control the situation all the time. And one thing that I wanted to bring to light today in this video was about the stories that we tell ourselves, because the story that you tell yourself, whether it's business, whether it's with your loved ones, no matter what area of your life it is, even if it's working out or energetically, right? Physically, the story that you tell yourself can make or break you. Now, remember that a lot of the stories that we have, we created on our own, but also we picked up along the way from our family members, from spouses, from best friends, right? And like I always give the, we talk about money blocks quite a bit in the first module, the Brave Academy, and everyone has money blocks. If you've never heard of this, these are blocks that you have taken and you've received from your parents, from society, You've gotten these and just adopted them. We all do this. And it'll be things like money doesn't grow on trees, right? Money's hard to come by. Rich people are jerks. All this stuff, a lot of us say to ourselves, and it's only the things that we have made into a belief. And it's a lot of it's subconscious. You may have never even taken this out and looked at it, right? I didn't even know about this until maybe seven, eight years ago. But money blocks can be something like, you're not good with money. You never will be. That's what I heard for a good part of my life. You know, you shouldn't have your own business because you're not good with money. There's something wrong with you. We don't know what it is, but you're not good with money. And you need to accept this about yourself. And after a few years, I was like, you know what? I'm not going to accept that. So I really started working on myself. I did some introspection, got a lot of training. So I did have a problem in that area. And now I'm really good with money. But if I hadn't done that, I would have gone my entire life thinking that I suck with money. Now, that's a story that I was telling myself for my whole life because that's what was told to me, right? But that doesn't mean that that is the story that you have to run with. And it shouldn't be. I would encourage you to take out all the stories that you have and the negative ones that are not serving you or your highest self and look at them and say, does that really help me? And if, is it true? And if it's not true, what is true? Or how do I fix it, right? Because the story that you have, all is, or what you don't know is, it's all about your self-worth, right? So whatever you're telling yourself that you're not good at, I'll never find the right person because I'm not good at relationships, right? Or I am not good with money, or I'm not good I'm just not a good human being. I don't follow up with people. I'm not good in business. That is self-defining, right? So if you say that and you believe it and you're throwing that out to the universe and the universe hears that, says, oh, you're not good with money. Oh, you're not good with relationships. You suck at relationships. Let me give you this person and I'll just prove it to you over and over again. You're not good with relationships and so never will have a good one, right? There's something internally wrong with you. That's not the case. That's a story that someone said, and it could be 25 years old. And it doesn't, it wasn't a good story in the very beginning. We only want the stories that are going to build us up and change us 
and make us move forward in a very good place, right? So I want to encourage you to break that story and start a new one in its place. Hey, I am really good with money. Hey, I, I will figure it out. Hey, I am good with relationships because I'm a good person, right? The story that you tell yourself and what you put out into the universe will either make or break you. And as a 22, which is a master builder and master teacher, your words matter not only to you, but to all those around you. People listen to master numbers more than anybody else because we've been here before. We've come here. We've reincarnated many times. And this is a lot of time why we struggle because we don't know sometimes the correct way to express ourselves or to maybe tone things down a little bit for people that don't understand us, that might be behind us in their spiritual walk right? And there's no shame with that. Everybody's in a different spot. Some people are ahead of me. Some people are behind me. It's all good. It doesn't matter. And that you shouldn't be concerned with other people's walks and destinations unless you're actually serving them, right? Just concentrate on your own self, right? But, you know, your disconnection or connection to joy should be paramount in your mind. And that is all based on the stories that you tell yourself about how you perform in the world, right? It's super important because if you tell yourself that you suck at something, then you actually will. It will be self-fulfilling prophecy or self-sabotage. So why not tell a good story? You know what? I'm really good with money. I'm an awesome kick-ass entrepreneur. I'm a leader. People listen to me and I want to leave an amazing legacy. I want to help people right? I am successful. Money flows to me, right? So we talk about this in the Brave Academy, but for this video, if you feel as though you are not successful in any area of your life, look at the stories around what you're telling yourself and ask yourself, one, is this true? Two, where did it come from? And if it's not true and holding you back, dismantle it, get rid of it and put something else successful in its place. I am successful. I am a kick-ass entrepreneur. I'm great with money. Now, listen, here's the thing. You may need help with this and coaching around this because once you figure this out a lot, as I always say, we can't all see our own stuff. So some of this, in fact, a lot of it's going to be subconscious. All right. So it has to come to the surface of your mind and then you need to look at it without emotion. Stop beating yourself up about it. Right. And then change it. And a lot of this comes down to self-worth. So it's very subconscious. It's running in the background all the time. I'm not good with this. I'm not good with people. I'm not smart enough. I don't have this. I don't have that, right? That's all scarcity mentality. That's what we get rid of in the Brave Academy. So you will need help once you identify these to get rid of them and create a new story that's powerful in its place. So all that information is below. I'd love to work with you. For the Brave Academy, it's four modules, it's transformational, this shit, no one's doing it. It's myself and a colleague. We teach you how to be unshakable, unshakable in business, in life, in relationships, unshakable. Okay, so we'll leave that down there. There's also the mastermind and you can work with me at one-on-one -on -one as well. But think about the stories that you're telling yourself. Anywhere where it's not empowering you, it's disempowering you, get rid of it and do something different in its place. All right, guys, I hope this helped you. I think you're wonderful and I really appreciate you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. All the information is below for the application and please leave comments because I read everyone and I'd love to hear from you. Okay, guys, take care. Thanks again.